Well, good morning, everybody. Mm, that's Thank a you. Heart. That's a heart. That's a heart. Thank you for joining us again. Uh, it is a Sunday morning, and we are going to make breakfast today. I have this Barefoot Contessa book that uh, I've had for years, and I don't think I've ever made anything from it, so I'm remedying that. I'm going to make a bunch of things this week. That's a heart, um, Mommy. But for breakfast, we're going to have banana sour cream pancakes. Um, and due to a technical glitch, um, we've already mixed all of our ingredients. Our second camera was not recording. So we have our flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt um, sifted together. And in this bowl, we have milk, sour cream, two eggs, and I was about to put in the vanilla. So let's pick up where we left off. Yeah. Uh, so this week was was busy, even though it was a short week due to the holiday. Uh, we took off Tuesday in addition to Monday. Uh, so on that's Tuesday, we made it that's back to the is Oakland that's Nature that's Preserve. A heart, mommy. That looks totally like a heart. That's yeah. A part of a heart. It's a beautiful heart. Uh, so we went back to the Oakland Nature Preserve. Um, with the hopes that we would make it all the way down to the lake this time. Spoiler, we did not. So I'll throw in that footage in a little bit. Uh, we also started our new puzzle, which is not a rectangle like I thought. It doesn't have that uh, like aqua green border. I'll, I'll throw in uh, a quick video in a second, but it's just a Mickey head and it's really cute. Uh, the pieces are smaller than we were expecting, uh, but they're really sturdy and they make a nice satisfying uh, sound when you're looking for pieces. Um, so that's been fun. We finished our Thomas Kincaid castle puzzle and we jumped right into our new puzzle. It's a Mickey. What else happened this week? Okay, I'll tell you. Um, hmm. While I think about it, we'll put in our last ingredient. We have a teaspoon of lemon zest. Oh, you mix it. Very gently. Because I do all the press, then I'm going to fall. That's right. Thank you. What you need, Mommy? I need to put the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. I can help you. All right. I'm going to hold it past you. Okay. Oh, something else exciting for this week. Nope, let me do it. This is the fourth, third or fourth time this has happened to us. We have found scorpions in our bedroom. Yay. They're not yeah. big, but it's kind of scary. We have a pest control service that will come out. Um, mm. But we keep getting them, and apparently it's common. I didn't think that scorpions lived in Florida. I thought they were in more arid regions, but apparently not. Um, since we, we have a, a new construction for house relatively you new, know, it's almost two years old now, but, and we were, on, we're on the back of the neighborhood and we have our dead forest back there, uh, we are uh, likely to get critters like that. And we got a lot of bugs, like like palmetto bugs, and we had some roaches. Well, those are roaches. Um, but you know, we got our first scorpion earlier this year, and we, we have our latest one. So we catch it, and we keep it in a Tupperware until the pest control people can come, just so they can see it. I don't know. Whatever whatever they're spraying, it's not working for them. We've had no bugs in a long time. Right, so this is all mixed and I know I said it's banana sour cream pancakes. So what I did was diced up two bananas and then once we ladle this on the griddle, we're going to scoop a little um, spoonful into the batter when it's starting to cook and it's going to cook in that way. So. We'll see. So we're gonna transfer oh, over to the griddle. Oh, I got it! Yay! Good catch. Oh. We'll see you in a few minutes. Here we are at the Oakland Nature Preserve again. Uh, we decided our breakfast, we would eat it in the trunk of the car, 
instead of looking for a place to sit again. This will it'll just be much easier. So it is. I'll close the trunk. I'm not going to close the trunk. Because you're so big, so you cannot close the trunk. Because <laughs> I'm so big, we can't close the trunk. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to try to make it all the way down to the lake today and maybe check out some of the other trails. Oh, look at you go. Okay. Oh, well, she's on the run again, even after just taking a big spill on the sidewalk. There's the boardwalk. We found it again. Ready? There's trees everywhere. We're making much better time than we were last time. How does your knee and your finger feel? Good. Good, good. Something in the way. Yeah, there's something in the way. Looks like they're doing construction. That looks just about where we stopped last time at our halfway point. They see the little roof there of the overhang. So, I guess we're heading back. Womp womp. Let's go walk on some of the other trails they have here, okay? Yeah, and we can go to the rocking chairs too. Huh? Yeah! <laughs> okay, let's head back. <laughs> I'm so like, excited so I can go in the rocking chair. I'm excited that you're excited. Whoa, that's a lot of rocking chairs. I'm gonna go in one and you're gonna go in the next one. Sure. Well, I guess that means we'll just have to come back again. So we're at an alcove on the way back. Nice, uh, nice shady spot. All right, you ready to keep walking? Yeah. Got our fan. We just had some water. Oh, and I wanted to point out, uh, we've got a camelback. And this is one of the best investments that we've made down here. And they're, they're not expensive or anything. But we bring it to nature parks, we bring it to theme parks. Um, we've brought it just walking around the neighborhood sometimes. So definitely, uh, definitely worth getting. Nope, won't get stuck in the mud. Let's see what the sign says. Amphitheater or a sinkhole? Hmm. Which way do you want to go? This way or that. Yeah. Which one? You choose. That way, that way. You want to go over the little bridge? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. We actually came this way the first time we were here, um, but we didn't get too far because it had started raining. And this bridge is uh, sturdier than it looks on first we never glance. Go in that water. No, we don't want to go in that water. We just came from that way. How about we try walking a little bit more this way? One, one of these ways. Okay. Yeah. So well, we, uh, we ran into some more people that work here and they are fixing even more stuff. They really keep it, it nice here. The bugs will come. Yep, the bugs will come. Let's keep walking. So maybe I should have looked at a map. So we're just kind of wandering around now and getting bit. So we made it to a little uh, seating area. Looks like they hold some kind of services here. Looks like we made a full circle and we'll go that way. And she's dying to go on the rocking chairs at the visitor center. So we'll probably stop there before heading home. So we, uh, we followed that trail um, looking for the amphitheater, but we wound up finding another entrance to the park. Uh, there's a, a bike trail right out there and this is the main road that we drove in on. I'm just taking a rest. I'm gonna check out the map to see best way to go. We are there right now and we're parked right there. 
So I guess we'll try to take an orange path back. And that is the boardwalk all the way up to Lake Abuka. Yeah, we'll go to the rocking chairs now, okay? I was just looking the best way to go. Oh, sorry about that fan. It's, uh, it's kind of loud. That's better. We're following a sign for the purple trail, which I didn't see on the map, but it looks like it heads back towards the visitor center. Yes, yes, the rocking chairs are at the visitor Butterfly. center. Butterflies. Yeah, I see the, the roof of the visitor center. So we're heading in the right direction. <laughs> That's awesome. They have an outhouse. And a well. And here are the tanks again. Can I name the fish? Yeah. That is a largemouth bass. That's right. <laughs> Hello, he's a pig frog. And we made it to our rocking chairs. There's two here near the entrance, but on the other side, facing the forest, there's about 10 of them. But we're just gonna sit here, because we're heading back home. Wanna say bye? Bye. We're gonna use the dinosaur mm hmm Hold it and it All right, here we are on the other side of the kitchen. We have our master ladler, David, off screen with our dinosaur ladle. And he's gonna scoop and I'm gonna put some bananas in the center of it. Like that, ish. I should spread it out a little more. They're so gooey. something about um, Korean culture and started you know I started looking up you know an answer uh -huh. for him I because I hadn't that. thought about it in a while I had started to learn Korean years ago when I was uh, doing Taekwondo in New Jersey and it just it made me made me miss it all the much more uh, when I moved down here I, I, I thought I would look for a new school Kinda, I did a cursory look for a new school and there just isn't much down here. So uh, my old grandmaster told me that I should open a school because I can do that at my level. I don't know if that's gonna happen. But I miss it a lot. All that to say, I really miss Taekwondo. And I'm seeing everybody there. Good times. So this batch we are putting pancake batter over the bananas because it got really gooey. It was just a big hole with bananas. So there was a lot of extra bananas. We have barely any batter left and more than half the bananas. Um, I want more, a lot of more bananas. You sure you don't want bananas in your pancake? And last but not least, we have our heart pancake for uh, Evelyn. And welcome to breakfast. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go see her heart pancake. Ooh, so pretty. And I'll move over to... I'll show you in a second. Mm -hmm. But you can see the pancake on the right was the first attempt. Um, and it's just exposed. So we're gonna dive in and we'll give you our thoughts afterwards. You're licking the pancakes? Did you actually like the pancakes? Yeah. She devoured the heart one and is now working on number two, also without bananas. She told us a few times that she loved it. Um, that's one of us. David and I did not care for these pancakes. Um, we think that the lemon zest was overpowering. Uh, I like citrus, I like lemon, I really enjoy that flavor in general. David's not as big a fan 
uh, yeah, we did not like these at all. So uh, I feel bad because I don't. I'm not gonna make them again. But she really enjoyed them. Mm. Mm, I'll uh, I'll probably stick with my Bisquick pancake mix for a while. So I just like to eat it. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Oh, oh. Uh, she had taken a spill at the the nature preserve during the week, and she was a little bump on her head. She was so focused on her knee, and I noticed her finger had gotten a little scraped, but she didn't say anything about her head, and she still hasn't. She probably would never have noticed it if David and I didn't see the little bruise and bump. But all <laughs> right, so we are going to uh, we're gonna end the video here. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.